Hi everybody and welcome to Vlogmas and if you're new to my channel I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life here in Brittany in Northwest France. And we we'll bring you some extra videos for Christmas. We hope that you enjoy them. We might cook, we might make something, we'll share something Christmassy with you. We hope you enjoy the video. Let's talk through everything we're going to need to make our chocolate brownies. We're going to need gluten-free flour, we're going to need sugar, cocoa, eggs, chocolate. I always go for dark chocolate when I'm cooking this, but you could use whichever chocolate you like. Butter, and then I've got a white chocolate that I'm going to use to decorate the top. And I've also got some decorations and it will be self-explanatory when I do it. I've got a bowl on top of a pan of hot water, which I would use for melting my butter and chocolate together. I've got an electric whisk for mixing my eggs and my sugar. You could just do that with a hand whisk. I will sieve my flour and my cocoa and the rest I will mix together with a spatula. You'll need a nine or 10 inch pan that you'll line with paper, greaseproof paper for baking it in. And I've already set my oven to 150 degrees fan, and that is centigrade. Here is my finished brownie. You can bake it for 30 minutes or 40 minutes or even a little bit longer or less. If you like it to be completely gooey and custardy in the middle, which I don't, bake it for less time. Or as you can see, as I have here, actually, if I do that to it, you can see it's still, it's not like a sponge cake. It's still quite moist. 
So I now need to leave this until it is completely cold. And then when it is cold, what I do with this before I cut it up is I'll actually stick, when it's cold, I'll actually stick that in the freezer for about half an hour, even when it's completely cold, because it'll make it much easier for me to cut this up. So I've had my chocolate brownies in the fridge for a while and even in the freezer for a while but it really does need to be cold to do this because it's very difficult to cut and it might look like you know I'm putting bits aside you might think so what are you going to do with those bits if you watch for another video you'll see that all the off cuts of the chocolate brownies get used in a black forest Christmas trifle so none of it gets wasted at all and I actually make the black forest trifle straight away after I make this but you'll see it in another video brownies and what you saw me do at the end there was melt the white chocolate in the actual packet I just dropped the packet into a mug of warm water and uh, I'm, I'm never going to win any marks for cake decorating but the white chocolate and the dark chocolate brownies really works there we go great thing to make with children at Christmas time they're, they're big enough that you could wrap one up and you know give it to a work colleague or take them into a work stew, or like we have, we've got friends coming for dinner and they can have a piece of chocolate brownie to take away at the end of the evening. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching and happy Vlogmas to everybody!